Sony brought us to New York City to check out this 60 megapixel Sony A7R Mark IV. Woo! I'm incredibly excited about this camera. It's got 60 megapixels now, which is like 50% more megapixels. But that's not the most exciting thing about this camera to me. Sony listens. They hear what their users say, and then they fix the things that they don't like. This camera, ergonomically, is improved. It is so much better. That exposure compensation dial that I always complain about accidentally hitting, it has a lock now, so that's not gonna happen. And if that sounds small to you, I assure you it's not. It's these little parts of the user experience that make you love your camera, and I really feel that this is going to be a lovable camera. The dynamic range is still great. We've got that 10 frames per second, it's fast, and it's got real-time IAF. I'm so excited to use this. Despite being high res, ISO 3200 looks great. Even ISO 10,000 was usable. Subscribe to see the test at low ISO, shoot 240 megapixel stills, and compare it to the A7R III. But that's not it. Now all of the doors are weathered and dust sealed, so it's gonna keep out the grime, it's gonna keep out the water better. And around the mount, they also put a cushion there so that water couldn't get in as easily. They really thought about the small details and the large details and made this camera so much better. Both of the card slots are now UHS-2 and it's got a 68 shot buffer. I won't fill that up. I did actually fill up the buffer. Oh, let's go into the menus. Okay. Yeah. As a person that loves wildlife photography, I was concerned with my A7R3's ability to track when it's autofocusing, but now the A7R4 has the A9's autofocusing system. That is huge. Now this can be a wildlife camera. Not to mention the electric viewfinder is now 60% sharper. When I was looking through the EVF before for wildlife, it looked a bit unnatural. And now that should greatly improve. If you're a video shooter or a vlogger, you're going to be excited to learn that now they have IAF for video. How cool is that? And as someone that enjoys shooting landscapes, I'm excited about the pixel shift. You take this 60 megapixel sensor, you can take 16 pictures using pixel shift and end up with 240 megapixels. And you might be saying, why do I need that? Well, if you wanna make a huge, beautiful print, now they're going to be incredibly sharp. I'm excited about that feature just for the printing capabilities alone. Our first impression, it's the best high resolution camera ever made. No other camera can match the image quality, focusing or native lens selection. Sony has underpriced the camera at $3,500, making it very difficult for Canon and Nikon to compete. This bitch is a showstopper. Um excited to get this camera and that can happen soon. It's going to be $3,500 USD and it's going to be coming out in September. We're going to be doing some follow-ups on this camera so don't forget to subscribe and like to see more videos from us and if you hit the notification bell you have a better chance of seeing our videos. So thanks and there's more to come.